The safest way for children to travel in a car is for them to sit facing the back of the vehicle. But at the same time, the child seat must be correctly mounted and the seat belt correctly fastened and tensioned. Car safety for children is quite good today, but can be improved. At a very early stage, Volvo started a major concentration on child safety in their cars. Something that is probably one of the reasons why the majority of Swedish children use approved safety equipment. Volvo has worked with child safety for more than 30 years. We have focused this area, it's very important. We've developed child safety systems appropriate for the different sizes of children. And we have also been very active in informing about the importance of using child safety systems and to use them correctly. Every year, tens of thousands of children are injured in traffic accidents throughout Europe, simply because they do not use the right safety equipment. French child safety expert Farid Ben Yelal maintains that this is primarily an information problem. I really believe that if you have a, a set of simple information, key operations which parents have to use in their daily life with their children and the car seats and if we keep that message repeated in a regular way we will save a lot of lives but children in Europe will now hopefully be in a safer situation in traffic the new EU directive means that all children who are shorter than 135 centimeters must now sit belted into a children's car seat something that will clearly reduce injuries due to traffic accidents if the directive is complied with I think this regulation is very good because it puts an extra pressure on everyone to use the child safety system appropriate for the child and by having it on a regulatory basis puts this extra pressure on people Anders Lee, who is the child safety expert at the Swedish National Road Administration, also says that all parents throughout Europe must be more actively informed about the fact that child safety improves by as much as five times if children are correctly seated and belted in. Well, going rearward facing has been a tradition in Scandinavia for many, many years. Uh, that has not been the same in the rest of Europe. So I would say it is many of the experts within the field of child safety that consider being in a child restraint more important than being in the best child restraint. Uh, if we could tell people around Europe the difference between going rearward facing and forward facing, I am certain that the majority of the people would like the children to have best possible protection. And we know that the day that we're turning the child from rearward facing to forward facing the risk is increasing by a factor of three to five. Clearly, with more and better information together with continued research in this area, in the future, children will be driven in a considerably better and safer way. Right now, the focus for us is to make child safety system more adaptive for the growing child. To make the child in the growing process use the child restraints most appropriate for him or her.